Hello, today we're going to look at divisibility. So here's a question. Write all the numbers between 300 and 360 which are divisible by 2 and not divisible by 4 and divisible by 5. So what do we mean by divisible by 2, divisible by 4 and divisible by 5? It simply means the numbers in the 2 times table, 4 times table and 5 times table. How do we know though if a number is divisible by 2? Well numbers divisible by 2 are simply even numbers and they end with either 0, 2, 4, 6 or 8. Here I've got the numbers divisible by 2 going up to 100 but of course they go further and they go on forever. For example, I could tell you straight away that 684 is divisible by 2, but 685 is not divisible by 2 because it ends in a 5. What about numbers which are divisible by 5? Here I've got the numbers divisible by 5 going up to 100 and they all either end in 0 or 5. And of course they also go on forever, so I can tell you that 795 is divisible by 5, but 792 is not divisible by 5. And then we look at numbers which are divisible by 4. Here I've given you the numbers up to 100, but how do we tell if a number is divisible by 4? Well first of all you should know the numbers up to 48. This would be the 4 times table. Numbers higher than 48 may be a little bit more difficult but there is a way of finding out. First of all they're all even and they end in either 0, 2, 4, 6 or 8 but how do we know that 84 is divisible by 4, but 82 isn't. Why 84 but not 82? Well, there's a quick way of finding out. We can say that 80 is divisible by 4, so the next number will be 84. We can also say that Half of 84 is 42, but half of 82 is 41. Now, 42 is even, 41 is odd, and 84 is therefore divisible by 4. So that's our rule. The numbers must be even, ending in 0, 2, 4, 6 and 8, but also half of the number must be even. What about numbers over a hundred? Let's see these numbers 276, 422, 13,528, 12,662. Actually, it's quite easy. We simply take the last two digits. If that number is divisible by 4, then the whole number is divisible by 4. 276. Well, I can see that 76 is divisible by 4. 422. Well, I can see that 22 is not divisible by 4. 13,528. 28 is divisible by 4. And finally, 12,662. That's not divisible by 4. So I can tell if numbers are divisible by 4 by just looking at the last two digits. So there we go. We're ready to do a question on this. Write all the numbers between 300 and 360 which are divisible by 2 and not divisible by 4 and divisible by 5. Now in these questions you can actually change the order and to make it easier for yourself choose the order where you have to do less. 
I'm going to start by looking at the numbers which are divisible by 5, because there are fewer of them. Here are the numbers divisible by 5 between 300 and 360. Next, I'm going to look at the numbers divisible by 2. So what I can do is only choose the even numbers, and I'm going to cross out the odd numbers. Finally, I have to look at the numbers which are not divisible by 4. This time, I have to cross out the numbers which are divisible by 4. And remember, you only need to look at the last two digits. So, 300, 320, 340, and 360, I know are divisible by 4, because 0, 20, 40, and 60 are all divisible by 4. So, I am going to cross those numbers out. This leaves me with 310, 330, and 350. They are the three numbers which are divisible by 2, not divisible by 4, and divisible by 5. So now, let's do another question, this time as if we were in a test. Write all the numbers between 100 and 200, which are not divisible by 4 and divisible by 10. We can start with the numbers which are divisible by 10, because there are fewer of them. And now, we must look for the numbers here which are not divisible by 4. So what we can do here is cross out those numbers which are divisible by 4. So how do we know if a number is divisible by 4? I'm just going to look at the two digits at the end. So, looking at 100, 120, 140, 160, 180, and 200, we know that they are divisible by 4 because 0, 20, 40, 60, 80, and 0, once again, are divisible by 4. This leaves us with the answers 110, 130, 150, 170, and 190. So we have the numbers which are divisible by 10, but not divisible by 4. Thank you for watching. Goodbye and good luck.